Okay, welcome back to um, Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. Today we're going to talk about, um, we're going to define scalars and four vectors, and then we're going to discuss a uh, particular f uh, four vector that's important in relativity, the four velocity, and this will lead us into next lecture where we'll discuss the four momentum, okay, another special four vector. Okay, before we do that, let's um, let's start. Let's motivate this um, discussion of four vectors by um, by considering um, a classical case uh, where uh, and, and consider how momentum is conserved in a classical situation. So, um, let's imagine that we have a frame S um, and we have two particles, each with mass m. Uh, moving towards each other with velocity with speed u as depicted here. So uh, this is a, the simplest kind of collision that you can imagine and we're going to assume that this is a completely elastic collision. Okay so classically we know momentum is conserved. We know that the initial momentum is equal uh, the mass times the, times the velocity of the first particle we're only considering um, motion in the x direction here, so we can drop the, the vectors, but mu plus the mass times the velocity of the left moving particle, so uh, plus m times ne negative u, and of course those add up to zero. Um, after the collision, right, the, the two particles collide and they just bounce right back, so you would have this situation, and then they just bounce right back, okay. And so, the, so we just have the, the first particle is now moving to the left, the second particle is now moving to the right, and again their momenta add up to zero. Okay? And so we conclude, um, and not, uh, right, this is the simplest case where that the initial and final momenta are the same. Now let's consider the situation in a, in a moving frame, okay, or one which, which is moving with respect to this one. So let's draw, actually let's keep this black. Uh, okay, let's draw a second frame here, and this is the primed frame, and this frame is moving with respect to the first with velocity v. Okay, so in the in moving frame, if we just use the classical um, that is Galilean velocity transformation, okay, then u goes to u minus, so u prime is equal to u minus v and minus u um, goes to minus u minus v, okay. And so what we can now write this again in the, mo in, so the now the um, uh, in the primed frame, the initial velocity is just um, this. Okay, so I've just plugged in these expressions, and if we look carefully what that is, then that's um, mu plus m times minus u minus 2 mv. And so what you should notice is that this is equal to, um, oh, this is equal to um, the moment, the initial momentum in, in the in the uh, unprimed frame. By the way, let me put the s prime here. Um, minus a constant. Okay, this is a constant because because m and v are both con because the mass and the velocity are. We're assuming it's an inertial frame, so the velocity is constant. Now the final velocity in this new frame is equal to um, this, which again is equal to so again it's equal to p final mi uh, minus 2 mv. So again uh, you have it, it, it's equal to the, the momentum, the final momentum, the unprimed frame minus a constant. And so again we see that p um, the initial momentum in the primed frame is equal to the, the final momentum in the primed frame. 